we've seen FNAF 1 run on the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, and the Nintendo Switch, but for today and today only, just kidding, this is going to be forever in the history of history, we have got footage of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, also known as FNAF 6, running on the Nintendo Switch and an iOS device. Click Team has once again tweeted out more footage of various FNAF games running on various devices, home consoles, and handheld devices, and today they tweeted out footage of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, also known as FNAF 6, running on the Nintendo Switch and an iOS device. So, we're gonna take a look at that, we're gonna analyze it a bit, not analyze, <laughs> we're gonna do a deep analysis on it, because they show a lot of stuff. They show the salvaging minigames with Molten Freddy, they show the blueprint mode, and they also show um, a little bit of them actually buying things in the game. And they also have been replying to a few comments, which is something I didn't look over in my previous videos of them showing off footage, which I do regret, but now this game in particular gives us a lot of information, which we'll get into that much later, but for now, let's just look at the footage. Right off the bat, I noticed something that I may be mistaking um, for something else, but who knows, maybe this actually is the truth. Is that song the same song that plays in the Steam version of the game? Let's have a listen to that. It sounds different. Maybe that's just me being stupid, but I'm pretty sure that's a different song. But anyways, as we can see, we have the Nintendo Switch up in this corner, which is why I don't have the face cam on, and then we also have an iOS device down here. Um, they're gonna start off by showing a little bit of starting a new game on the iOS device. Sorry, they hit continue, and here we can see um, the actual purchasing items menu, we can see that they're on Monday up at the top, and everything looks almost identical to the Steam version of the game. The only, um, the only difference that I noticed right off the bat is that the blueprint mode button is a lot larger than the Steam version of FNAF 6, and that's most likely because um, the Steam version had it quite narrow and thin, but because this is on not only a smaller screen, but you also have to um, hit it with your thumb, or not your thumb, just a finger, then it makes sense to make it larger so it's easier to hit. That is the only difference I'm noticing right now. We saw a helpy dancing a little bit there, and we also saw that they hit blueprint mode. Hear the OG music in the background. And then here, they're now in blueprint mode. Everything still looks the same. We got back to shopping here. We have a bigger button for an advertisement. We have all the categories up here. They, it does look pretty small. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to read that um, very, very good on a small screen, but who knows? Maybe it's just because of the quality of the camera that they're filming this with, but that text does look a bit small. And again, everything here looks um. Everything here looks identical to the Steam version, except all the buttons are pretty, you know, they're larger than they are on the Steam version. And we're going to see them moving around a bit, just with their finger. Very, very smooth motion. And then they go back to shopping. As you can see, it's pretty simple. All you have to do to buy something is just click on the big green buy item button and then you get the OG sound effect of you buying something and you also can see that's now sold out. Back to blueprint mode. That is exactly the same as the Steam version. You just hit the little icon there and you place it down and we can see here the buttons that are, um, are placed next to it. These are obviously going to be playtest. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's add slot and then clean or something along the lines of that, I don't know. Um, but again, the, the buttons are much, much larger, so it's easier to hit on a smaller screen. And you can see the FAS rating going up. And now they're switching over to the Nintendo Switch, ironically, and they are salvaging Molten Freddy. They have the option to throw it back in the alley or proceed with the salvage. If they want to throw it back, they gotta hit A. 
Uh, there's a B up at the top. I'm guessing that's to see how much Molin 30 is going to be worth. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Um, we hear the original Cassette Man audio recording, and we can see to flip up our paper to take notes on whether the animatronic moves or not, we can see that you have to hit the L button. Remember, use your company-issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic. And we can see them pull up the paper right now. Something I just noticed is that maybe the B button is for the taser. I'm not quite sure because I don't see a taser button available, like normally it would appear right here, you would have the option to use the taser and to pause the cassette, but it doesn't seem like that's a feature on the Nintendo Switch. I don't know if that just hasn't been programmed in yet, but that certainly is interesting. So here's the pa piece of paper. Um, pretty soon they're going to show you how to navigate up and down and across, and they're also going to show you how to select it, clip it back down. And while that's happening, they just simply go back to the iOS. They hit start night. And we can see the computer monitor in the actual surviving section of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. And it looks like the monitor is very, very, very different on iOS and poss possibly the... Um, console versions of Freddy Fazbear's Speedsuria Simulator as well. The buttons are a lot larger, again, so they're easier to hit. And they go on here to document the results. Also down here, you have the option to mute the call, and if you hit this button right here, you'll turn off the monitor, and if you hit this button right here, you'll turn on and off the fan. Mean your job is finished, however. And you can see that once you flip up the um, piece of paper in the salvage minigame and you hit A, that will mark the selected box. Using the left joystick, I'm guessing they don't show it, you can navigate up and down and presumably side to side on the piece of paper. And that's all we got. Digit Dude commented saying, does this mean you guys finished the other games already or did you guys skip some? And Click Team responds with Scott has us on a on a strict development schedule and it jumps around the titles. But rest assured, all seven titles are going to get the same attention and love that William Afton deserves. We all know William deserves that love, but they are constantly bouncing back and forth, developing different titles. So they're not working on FNAF 1 and then they finish that, they move on to FNAF 2. No, they're just bouncing around between different titles, which is interesting. And then they also reply saying that Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, and they reply later on saying that Custom Night will not be free on the iOS or console devices. So, and that was something loads of people were concerned about, because on Steam, Custom Night and FNAF 6 were free, but on the console versions and iOS, it will not be free. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator and Ultimate Custom Night on consoles and iOS and Android will cost money. They will not be free. And, and then click team, if we scroll down a bit, say that they have no release dates just yet. Yeah, here it is right here. Is it free on iPhone? Click team's response with UCN and Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator will not be free on console and mobile. I'm sure there's some like development reason behind why they're not gonna be free on iOS and consoles, probably because Scott had to pay click team to make these ports but I'm not sure. All I know is that Ultimate Custom Night and Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator will cost money on consoles, iOS, and Android. They don't say how much money just yet, but I'm sure they will very, very soon. They also don't have any release dates just yet, which is kind of concerning, because the original one was August 8th, the fifth anniversary of FNAF, but now they say that they don't have a release date, so now I'm guessing that it's going to be a lot later than we thought. Maybe like quarter four of the year, but that is just speculation. Usually when companies say they have no release dates yet, that's because they still have a long ways to go in development. So I'm 
guessing at the I'm guessing at the very least or the very earliest it's going to be like quarter four of 2019, which is very very upsetting, seeing as it would be so so cool for the fifth anniversary to have all the games ported to consoles and handheld devices. But I do want them to take their time on the games. I do want them to be good because this kind of goes alongside with the tweet. I do have my Twitch and phone ready for Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator and all the other games. So I'm very, very excited for that. Hopefully you guys are too. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I am on Twitch, if you did not know. So go follow me on there. And I'll see all you guys. That's not my outro. On the flip side. Ooh, there's a hair. Go away. On the flip side. Goodbye.